Hey, I'm Hafsa. And I'm Maliha. We're here at Farewell School to learn about HPV. We're here with Lauren. Learns from Sheffield Children's Trust. So she can ans- answer all our questions about HPV. Hiya, my name's Lauren. I'm one of the school nurses from the Sheffield Immunisation Team. And I come into your school and other schools in Sheffield to deliver the vaccination programme. And action. Hello, my name is Francis Egg. So my question is, what is HPV? So HPV is a disease that we catch through sexual contact and HPV stands for the human papillover virus. So it's a group of diseases that can cause either germs or warts or cancers. Hi, I'm Ethan. And I'm Manaya. What are these symptoms if you do contract HPV in men and women? So the symptoms are usually quite hidden. With men, it could be a UTI, and with women, you'd only find out if you have a cervical smear, which is something you don't receive till the age of 25. But if you have any concerns, do see a GP. Hi, my name's Cassia Mensa. I'm Desire Joshua. Um, how can we protect ourselves from HPV? So HPV is a disease that you can get through sexual contact, so the best way to protect yourselves is by having the vaccination. Who can get HPV? Boys and girls can get HPV. It's something that is given through sexual contact. That includes kissing, hugging, anything of that nature. So it's best to be protected against that. Can I catch HPV? HPV? Can you catch HPV? Yes, you can. Anybody who is sexually active can catch HPV. Okay, we are right. We're ready, guys. Yeah. Hello, my name is Rayon. Hello, my name is Noor. What age do you get the HPV injection? So the HPV injection is something that we offer from year 8 onwards. However, you can receive that vaccine up until the age of 19. Is it dangerous if we don't get the HPV injection? I wouldn't say it's dangerous, but you're not going to be protecting yourself against the human papillover virus, which is something that can cause cancers in your head, neck, throat, mouth and genital areas. How can I get the injection? You can receive the injection in school or when we come to the mop-up sessions and we do run a clinic across the road at the Fairvale Community Hub, which you can receive on a Thursday. That runs from quarter past three to five o'clock. Is there any side effects for the injection? The side effects are just a little bit of achiness in your arm, so depending on which hand you write with, we tend to go for the opposite arm, so that arm will feel a little bit heavy, a little bit achy, and it might feel a little bit numb, but you might get a tiny headache, but nothing serious. How long does it take for the injection set to heal? The injection site is very, very tiny. We use the needles that we use on newborn babies, so it's very minute, and once we've popped a plaster on, once it's stopped bleeding, you can remove that plaster. Okay, and action. Hi, I'm Leah. Hi, I'm Michelle. And we're from, from Farvel. What are the chances of getting HPV if you don't get the injection? So the injection is something that we promote because without it, there's up to a 70% chance of you catching the HPV virus. It's quite a common virus. So without the injection, you are more prone to catch that. And how much does the HPV injection cost? Or is it free? The injection is free, yeah. So we offer it to all children from year eight onwards. It's something that's going to protect you against cancer. So yeah, it's universal and it's free. Does the HPV injection have gelatine in it? No, so the HPV injection does not contain, contain gelatin, so it's safe for all religions. How long does it take for the injection to kick in? For the HPV, it takes between two to three weeks, and then you will be protected fully. How many times do I have to get the injection in my lifetime? It used to be three times, but research has evolved, and now it's just the once, and then you are protected. Should I encourage my classmates and friends to get the HPV injection? Yeah, definitely. It's something that we would recommend. Males and females can both catch the HPV virus, so it's something that we recommend to all children from year 8 onwards to receive. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for your time. You are welcome.